We're going to continue on with uh, simple variables, um, introducing a new couple uh, types of variables. Actually, this time we're going to have string for a first name, middle name, and last name. So let's go ahead and get started. Go ahead and create a new file on Notepad and save it. File, save as desktop challenge to sorry challenge to dot java and we're gonna start off the same way public class challenge to public static void main string args and we're looking for three string variables so I'm going to create string first name separated by commas middle name last name so you create three string variables um, all on one line of code and we're going to also have three initials for our first initial, middle initial, and last initial. So for only storing one character, we're going to use a char data type, primitive data type. First initial, middle initial, last initial. I'm going to initialize all of these variables. Next, I'll say first name equals my first name, middle name, last name. And because I obviously knew all these values, I could have done that all on one line of code and initialize them here on the same line they've been declared. But I just want to show you, you can do them on one line of code, you can do them on multiple lines of code. So here we declare it, here we initialize it. We'll do the same thing. The big difference here now that we have a char is that chars are not going to go in double quotes. Chars go in what? Single quotes. So my first initial is equal to capital letter E. My middle initial equals capital letter A. My last initial capital letter G. And now we output print line. My name is plus first name. I'll go ahead and add a space in there. Plus middle name. Plus go ahead and add a space. Plus last name. You want to do an output for the initials. Plus first. And I don't I don't really need a space in between them. I'll just put all three of them. I'll run them all together. First initial plus middle initial plus last last initial.
Uh, if I go ahead and compile this again at my desktop, command prompt, clear the screen, I'll do a Java C challenge two dot Java. Right away I see I have an error. I have a typo. Right here you see chal e g e e n g e. Now I save that. Recompile. Now I'm error free. So the point to make is that your class name has to be spelled exactly as the file name is spelt. Otherwise you'll see the error that it produces. Now to run it, Java Challenge 2 and you see the output.